Subtract 0.431x from both sides. Get 1 point, oops, 3 minus <clears throat> 0.431 gives me approximately 4, or sorry, 2.569. I can add one to both sides, I get 2.569x equals 2.293, thus x equals 2.293 divided by 2.596, or 569, there we go, I get x equals 0 0.893 approximately. If you got a number that's slightly off, that might be due to rounding error. Just double check all your math, double check your calculations, make sure you follow the same steps and you should be good. Well those two problems looked at what happens when x is in our exponent. Example 2 looks at what happens when we have x inside of a log function. Notice we have log base 7 of 3x minus 2 and in our second example we have logs and x on the other side. So let's go ahead, work through these. Take a moment, try example two on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to see the solutions. For the first one, we have log base seven, three x minus two equals two. Well, we can write this in the equivalent seven squared equals three x minus two. we get 49 equals 3x minus 2, which gives us 3x equals 51, x equals 51 divided by 3, which is 17. Now notice though, we're using exponents to undo the logarithm. Essentially what we did is with we took 7 of log base 7, 3x minus 2, equals 7 squared. 7 log 7 cancels, leaving us with just the 3x minus 2, equals 7 squared. You can think about it either way. Regardless, you should be able to work through either way, either applying a set base 7 exponent, or coming up with the equivalent form from the logarithm. Let's look at our next example. Here we have to use some properties of logs. We see we have two base threes. We can simplify these logs to be log base three of 24 over four, which equals x minus five. 24 divided by four is the same as six, giving us log base three of six equals x minus five. But our calculator can't calculate log base 3 of 6. It can only do natural logs and common logs. We can use our change of base formula. To put our logarithm into a base that we can use and put into our calculator. We then get log base 10 of 6 over log of 3 equals x minus 5. Thus, x minus 5 equals, we can plug in log of 6 divided by log of 3, approximately 1.631. x is going to equal about 5.631. And that's it. Those are the common computation problems. First of all, solving exponential equations using logarithms, and then using the properties of logarithms to solve for logarithmic equations. If you feel comfortable with those, you can move on to the last video of this section. Otherwise, go back and review these before moving on.